Hello and welcome back to the fourth episode of the Automated Special Series that is focusing on SAP automation and integration with Power Automate. So in this episode, we will be building a custom connector from scratch that connects to an OData endpoint on the SAP ES5 demo system. We then use that custom connector in our low-code developed purchase requisition power-up. So before we start building a custom connector, let's revisit our SAP connectivity options from the first episode. Today we'll look into the second option, which is the custom connector route that allows you to connect to HTTP endpoints which have been exposed as services via an SAP NetWeaver gateway or API management platform. Depending on the API hosting strategy, you might or might not need an on-premise data gateway to connect to it. Now to see custom connectors in action, we will be developing one that lists SAP products from an ES5 demo system, which we will use as part of our purchase requisition power-up. This is the high-level custom connector development uh, process. So we create a connector, define its host and base URL, select an authentication type, define the actions which the user will be able to perform against, create a connection and test the connector, and then share and use the connector in your specific uh, Power Automate or Power Up uh, solution. In episode two, we have used Process Advisor to optimize the purchase requisition process that includes also a uh, custom developed power up, some power automate flows, uh, dataverse, and then the power up has been pinned to the uh, Microsoft Teams experience as a new tab. As part of the power up, we have a requirement to build a custom connector. In our case, we will leverage the ES5 uh, demo system of SAP, which will list then all the products available in on that endpoint where we can select from as part of the purchase requisition creation process. So let's get started. So this is a blog post which uh, talks about the ES5 uh, demo system. We see a Fiori launchpad, some applications to manage and approve purchase orders, products, and some gateway sample services for sales orders, sales order lines, to do some OData demos uh, as well. And here we see the sample uh, service for product sets returning as JSON format instead of XML. With a couple of uh, product properties, navigational properties to suppliers and sales order lines. And this is how the Fiori launchpad looks like with a couple of uh, Fiori apps. Here one app to manage uh, products. And these are the products we will uh, list as part of the uh, purchase requisition power-up. Let's head over to the Teams experience where we have uh, pinned uh, the purchase requisition power-up as a tab to the uh, procurement uh, Teams channel. And here's this icon. So if you recall from the demo in episode two, when once the user clicks on that uh, icon, we will show a list of products to select from, which is filtering that product list by the search term we have either applied here or as part of the uh, lookup experience. Now let's create this custom connector, which will enable us to uh, get a list of products from the ES5 uh, demo system of SAP. For that, we go to Power Automate, Data, Custom Connector, and create either from blank, as a service, open API, uh, either file or URL, Postman collection or GitHub. So in our case, it's just from blank, give it a, a proper name. And here we can specify some basic uh, information like the background color, description, and most importantly also, if your SAP instance is behind a firewall sitting on-prem, you could leverage the on-premise data gateway to connect to that securely. Now, here's the host and the base URL. So the host will be the SAP uh, ES5 URL we have seen from our API call here. Now the authentication type will be basic authentication. And then we head over to the uh, definition. Here we can define for each and every operation against the OData endpoint, we can provide action names. So here, for instance, list products. It could be also update product, delete product, get sales orders, and so on. Next, we need to provide a request URL. We can do this by specifying the operation, which is a get operation. And here we can paste our SAP OData endpoint for product sets. I've also added some query parameters here, which makes it later on easier in the connector itself when you call it from PowerUps or Power Automate 
to supply dynamic values for filter, for skip, top, and select, and so on. Next, we need to provide some headers. Here we use uh, JSON as content type. And in case you plan to do also update operations against the SAP OData endpoint, you need to provide an XCSRF token, which is a cross-site forgery token SAP requires for each subsequent call, uh, together with a uh, cookie for update operations. Now let's go and uh, set some uh, values for the XCSRF token, some defaults. Here we can say this is a static dropdown uh, with only one value, which is fetch. And this is what is expected from, from the SAP side to, in order to retrieve with a get operation also the XCSRF token. Next, we change the format to also supply here some defaults. So default value should be JSON and the visibility is internal. It's required, yes. Now the response we keep as uh, default for now. We will first uh, create the connector. So what's also nice if you prefer to do or you have a you know Swagger specification from another connector, you can just go into the Swagger editor mode and then uh, you know replace the text which is in there, or even edit your connector uh, directly with the Swagger editor here in the UI. So then we go to test and create a connection to our uh, SAP backend. We also specify the application uh, JSON as default value here because this won't change either and mark it also as internal. Update the connector and go to test and then we can test the operation. And you see the uh, format and the content type has been grayed out. So that means that they are automatically supplied by the system. And if everything worked fine, then we can get an HTTP 200 back with product information uh, similar to the uh, call we did in the browser. I can also apply now query parameters. So top one, returning only one record. The standard OData protocol you would uh, expect from an OData endpoint. And here you see now this is the structure, D and then results. We can copy the whole thing. And like we did with the request URL, we can also in the response, we can give it a sample output so that it can derive the schema which is returned from our API call. Import from sample and here we just paste whatever we've copied from the results. What's also important here, again, we have to sp uh, supply the XCSRF token in case you would like to do update operation and also the set cookie, which is then holding the cookie of the uh, previous call. They are both of type string. And here you see the schema, which has been derived from that sample JSON I've just submitted here. Let's update the connector and test once more that everything is in order. Okay, green check mark and a status 200 with our records. Let's go back and here's our connector. Now let's go to our power up and embed it as part of that action call. So select that icon, then we move over to data and search for our new SAP connector. Here we go. And now we can start typing in the formula bar and you see SAP EPM connector and also our action, which is called uh, list products with a parameter payload of all the query parameter we have specified. These are of course optional parameters. Let's save the result of that function call of that API call in a collection called SAP products. And here we can close the parenthesis and then say dot D and then dot results. And you might recall this was the structure of the output uh, from our OData call. So let me test it again. 
Here we see the structure, D, results, and then our product list. Perfect. So and this is saved in the SAP products uh, collection. And let's give it a try. So when I click that, it uses the text which was in the text box as the filter. And if I remove that text, you will see a list of all products which are coming from the OData endpoint. Okay, so this has been mapped, this SAP products collection has been mapped as a data source for this uh, gallery control. And here you see a preview of the data. That's it. We have successfully implemented a custom connector.